We can reach out over the whole roof. Good morning, noon or night, everybody. It is another beautiful day out here on the homestead. I just wanted to give everybody a detailed update of exactly where we're at. Date of this video is October 14th. It's Wednesday. We got all the lumber here in the shop. This should be all the lumber to build the living quarters on this side, plus some. We got all the metal, check this out. These are the colors we went with, guys. This is what they call a charcoal roof. So these are the roof panels. And then what we're doing is splitting the colors so we went with this brighter green over here and that's gonna go on the bottom half of the, the building here. And what it's gonna do is that's gonna go up all the way until that line there, about where the truss starts. And then it's gonna switch. What's up, Judy? It's gonna switch to a darker color. And that's, that's this green. This is like a fern green, I think they call it. And this is a forest green. And then between those two, we're gonna have a piece of brown trim. I'm gonna have to get it custom bent, I think. They don't make one like what I'm picturing in my head, but we're gonna have a big, big, thick, bold brown trim in this color here. And you can kind of see, there we go. And this is the color of our trim here. This is all J channel for all the doors and windows. That's my rat guard right here. Uh, this should be my gable ends, peak flashing. Few things about the metal. They didn't get a piece that I need. There's a drip edge that goes on the low side that I'm supposed to put on first, but they didn't have it. Somehow it got mixed up. So what I'm going to do is just leave that screw line out for that drip edge. Let's see what else. When they ship these things, they're stacked and I started taking them apart and I'm noticing that like they're already worn through in some spots. Let me, let me find one here. I forgot that I already moved that piece. Let me go over and get it. I put it over here. So this piece here was the piece that was on top when it was shipped. Let's see if we can see where I was looking at. All of them, oh yeah, like up here. So like right there, it's already worn through. There's a scratch there. There was a couple of them. Another one there, little nick. It's not like they're the biggest scratches in the world, but we just paid a shitload of money for all this metal. I mean, this was over $5,000 worth of metal. So when you're paying like that amount of money, you want the stuff to be right. So I wasn't super stoked about that. So I called the guy. He says that, oh, well, they give you a top sheet that's a cover sheet for that reason. So I said, they give you a whole nother piece just for a few scratches. He said, yeah, count it. There should be, I needed 34. And he said, there should be 35 there. So I counted it. There's only 34. Counted all the other ones. There's the exact number of everything I ordered. The other one scratched also. So he said, they'll make it right. He's like, take some pictures and uh, we'll get another one coming for you. So hopefully that's the case. We'll see. I got to get a hold of them again here soon. What you want to look for is where the other skid that was on their truck was sitting on top of it. Because that's where it wore through for me. It wore right through their Tyvek stuff. All the way through to silver metal. And like I said, it's not big, but that's a good spot for rust to start. But anyway, that's the goal for today. We are hoping to get this roof up, or parts of the roof up at least. I figured... The roof is split. I ordered pieces at, oh, let's see, 21 feet, two inches, cause the roof is a total of, oh, 41 foot, an inch and a half. So I ordered 21 feet, two inches, and that's gonna get me halfway there. And then I'm gonna have a seam where they overlap. So these pieces are almost, they're 21 feet long. And I didn't really think how I'm going to move these things to get them up there. I can carry them. I can totally carry one piece. I haven't figured out how I'm going to stand them up yet. So 
We're going to work on that. Figure that one out. So I spent most of yesterday dinking with how to get metal up on top of here. And I was trying to figure out a good process. And what I ended up doing is I carry the metal over here and I set it against this orange ladder here. And then I slide it up the ladder and there's nothing safe about it. But we did get some up. So I was pretty excited about that. And we got these seven pieces up and it took us a while to get these seven pieces up. I had one on the roof by the time Chris got out here. So what we kind of decided is since I've been able to not rent a man lift to do any of this, I should probably rent a man lift because moving a 21 foot piece of metal is not super easy. And then moving a 13 or 17 foot piece on the other side that has to go over the bank isn't gonna be super easy either. He's coming up with a man lift today. I rented one, it's some dinky little tow behind one. So we're gonna see if it works and hopefully it gets the job done and makes this a little safer and a little more productive. Hey, good luck to the boys out on the island this weekend. They're out there hopefully ripping lip, putting some stripers in the sand, some blues on the beach. Got the wharf hat on. If anybody doesn't know the wharf pub, Check it out, Eggerstown, Mass, fine establishment. If you've been to the Wharf Pub, let me know down in the comments below. Tip them back for me, boys. So this is pretty cool. We can reach out over the whole roof. What do you dogs think of this? Do you like it yet or do you hate it? Michael has a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that probably is a bad idea. You're definitely overweight now. Though. I know. I was just, no, I'm getting close. Like 450. Yeah, it's pretty big. All right, let's get you guys out of here. All right, get out. Hey, get. Get, get. Good dogs. Can we slide it?
typical North Idaho. Yeah, in October. It's raining. It's raining again. Mm -hmm. So there's that. It's okay though. Yeah. We got the roof on. We did get the roof on. Check this out. So that. So we got the roof on just in time. Yeah. For the rain. Just in time. The shop is dry on the inside. So. <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. Yeah. Finally, we're stoked. Mm -hmm. So we built a few windowsill dams this morning. Yeah. Got one window in before it totally started coming down. Yeah. So we got the windows all cleaned up and yeah. ready to be put in. So yeah. That's good. We're so close to being dry. We got some siding to do. Let's look down at the siding, the small amount of siding we got done today. Yeah. And that is the siding that we got done today. Ooh, some birds. Yeah, I think the weather's supposed to be nicer tomorrow, and we've got some help, so we should be able to bust quite a bit out. Mm -hmm. More mm -hmm. windows, more siding. Yep. Yep. More man lifting. This man lift's pretty pretty key for mm -hmm. doing this stuff for speed. Yeah. yeah, speed for sure. Mm -hmm. We busted out this roof in I don't know eight hours yesterday. It's pretty good for a what forty. That would be like a fifty-one by. 41 yeah. roof yeah it's pretty big mm -hmm. but anyway that was our week hope your guys's week is doing good mm -hmm. and uh thanks for watching yeah thank you we'll see you next time